Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel ladies. If you're new here, my name is Aluk Makuch aka Aluk Fit Mom. You guys, so um, this video is just jumping straight ahead like because when I was recording, I forgot to press record on my camera so um a few things are kind of like cut off but as you can see here i'm installing my um bold cap so we are going to be installing this beautiful um wig from luxury glam by r r this is 100 percent human this is 10 inches the density is 130 bob in orange aka ginger type of look you know um, so what I did here, well, I was just put on my bold cap and I went in with my got to be freeze, freeze, freeze spray. And I just sprayed it around my forehead, you know, just to help um, get the cap sticking on, you know. And um, a few things, a few other things that the ladies also sent me was some edge control. They sent me the lace glue and the removal as well. This is for extreme hold. It's waterproof and it's um it's so good i've used this before and they also sent me a few wig caps the one that i'm wearing right now is like close to my shade and another brown one and then there's also a few things in my goodie bags that they sent me that i'll be using um in the near future you know but anyways let's get back to this bold cap method so what you need to do is make sure that the cap get like it's dry you need to make sure that the glue dries up so i'm using my blow dryer on cold um it's on cold and i'm just i was freezing as well because it was cold in my garage like like i was like damn so my <laughs> it's on cold and i apply the first layer of glue and then i made sure it was dry before i went in with my second one and then i did three of them three i'm um, three layers of glue and i made sure that they were all dry before i went in and sprayed the next um layer you know and what we're doing right now is we're cutting the the cap this part was so scary like it's always so scary because i felt like i was gonna cut my skin i felt like i was gonna cut my um, my forehead i swear to god but um what i'm doing i'm not even pulling i'm i'm gently just lifting the axis part of it and just cutting off um cutting it where the glue starts so i'm not ripping it or pulling it with force i'm actually just lifting it and then just slowly cutting underneath just to create that you know bold look i guess <laughs> and the other good thing is i know i'm always i never miss an opportunity to brag about my forehead because right now it's coming in handy look at all that space like the cap the glue is on it's legit on my skin it's on my my forehead it's nowhere near my um my hair like and it's it's nice you know sometimes having a big forehead comes with um it's privileges you know <laughs> but legit ladies all you need to just do is just cut cut around it you know get all the axes um cap thingies just let them cut them off like because you don't need them and then next right now we're gonna go in with my um <clears throat> icicle this is a it's like a um anti what is it called it's like an alcohol wipe you know and i'm just gonna go in and um wipe all the excess glue out you know because i don't need them and i don't want them showing i want nothing i want this cap to look as natural as it can you know and the fact that this cap is also like dark brown like i'm not gonna go in and put in no foundation because i felt like there was no need it's already blending in like it looks like my skin you know so yeah now we're just measuring the wig i want to see where the lace is gonna stay and then now we're going in with our lace glue. So I'm just going around it just to make sure I glue down the front bits. Because I was just um, when you were cutting, there's just a bit of um hair that was just not hair, sorry, um the cap thing that was just hanging in there. We, we don't need that. So I'm just going I'm just gonna have a first layer of glue all around my forehead. And then I'm gonna go in with like a um the the back the tip of um my eye brow my eyeshadow brush and i'm just gonna layer it so you just need one line across and then you just spread it out you know make sure it's not looking like that you just need to just um spread it so it can dry faster and i thought i was going to use more than like two layers of glue but this glue is really 
um, strong and when it dries it gets really tacky quickly so I didn't need to put in a lot so I just had to add in a bit more on sides that I felt like needed a bit more glue but the parts that I um, had like my like this part right now has enough glue but the middle and this other side doesn't so I'm just gonna go in and just add a bit more here and to help it dry I'm also gonna blow dry it um, on cool you know just make sure it gets tacky it's ready for me to put my wig on and then now we're just adding that second layer on the other side that i was talking about and we're gonna go in with that brush again just to lay it down you know i'm gonna like i have some on my skin and some on the cap like spreading it everywhere because we just need the wig to sit properly when we put it on our head you know um again guys this is like my first time doing this bald cap method thingy and it wasn't really like it wasn't bad like i was kind of like impressed you know because we all gotta start somewhere anyways at the other day the more you practice something the better you become at it you know so this is my first time it won't be my last you know um so now we're just putting the wig down and then we're making sure it's fitting quite nice and then I'm going to go in with my tail comb brush and just press the lace down onto the wig cap. Yep. We need to make sure those two connect, you know, because um, I need this wig to, you know, sit on my head and not move. So we're just going to be doing that. Um, and then I'm going to go in soon and just add a bit more glue to the parts that I felt like needed more glue. But before we do that, I'm cutting the lace. And again, there's something about cutting while the wig is on my head or cutting while the, that thing is on my head that just makes me so nervous. Like this part was so scary. It was so, so scary. So I'm just going to cut the lace and just shape onto my um my head. And then, um yeah. All right. So now we're just going in with my, this is like an eyebrow cutting thing razor blade for eyebrows i think that's what they call um this is less scarier than the scissors i feel like with this i can work with it the scissors was just scary damn so i'm just going and i'm just cutting 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 and this is good because like with this you don't you're not really cutting straight you're just um cutting according to the shape of your head and again like that should have probably plugged the wig a little bit more but the style that I'm going for didn't really need all that. So I'm like, um, I was like, okay, cool. Why not? Let's just do what we need to do. But um, I'm going in right now and I'm just shaping the front of it with that scissors that I'm so scared of. And we're just, you know, designing it. Like, we, we cut parts that need to be cut. You just um, customize this to your head, like to your own head shape. And my face shape is just weird. You know, I don't know, man. My forehead just comes in there. <laughs> so um, every wig is different. I don't know why. But anyways, cut. do I need to do? Customize it as much as you need to do, you know. I think in the near future, we will be plugging this wig for the next couple of looks. You know, we're going to fix it up a little bit, you know. But yeah, right now that we are done with cutting and using all the scary um, materials, <laughs> we're back to the glue. And I'm just putting glue on my temples i feel like that's that place always like dries up so quickly and when i'm just wearing a wig which is no um wig cap or whatever you know like the glue always just dries up down there i don't know why like does this happen to anybody it's just so weird anyway so i'm just going in with my tailbone my tail comb damn did i just say tailbone girl what is what, what is going on my tail comb and i'm just applying glue where it's needed you know so it's just on everywhere because we need to make sure this hair sticks and then after i do this i'm gonna go in and blow dry the hair and then um we're gonna just tie it up you know with my scarf we're just gonna let it cook let it marinate for the next 30 minutes and then voila you will see the results ladies yeah. empty bottles of red wine laying on the floor from last night we got a little drunk, yeah Now I'm a little numb, mm -hmm. Spending hours by your bedside Talking till it's dark out somehow Can get you off my mind 
don't wanna say goodbye, bye, bye, bye. Maybe we should take it slow. I don't feel too comfortable jumping into something new right now. Yeah, I don't really know anymore how to feel something again. Think I'm just scared to fall in. Don't wanna go. the time, yeah, can't tell another lie, mm -hmm. and baby I know you want more than this, but you know I can't afford your kiss, so I'm staying for the night, but then I gotta say goodbye, bye, bye, maybe we should take it slow, I don't feel too comfortable jumping into something new right now. Uh -huh. Alright, so it's been 30 minutes and look at that. There's no foundation on this, it's just a wig. The lace is just looking amazing. Like, I don't know, I like it. I like it, you know? Um, what we're gonna do right now is split it in the middle because I just wanted a middle part. I just wanted just a middle part, just to straighten the hand, just just nothing dramatic. I think I was um running late for something. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna try and pat it in the middle and then um we're gonna be blow drying the hair while it's on my head. Then we're gonna be straightening it and we're gonna use some um hot comb, you know, all of that and um Ladies, I'm sure we all know how to um we all know how to straighten our hair, we all know how to do this part. So I'm gonna just um maybe rush through it because there's really not much to say. Like we all know what we need to do. So you do what you need to do. But the trick here, what helped my hair become very flat is my wax sticks from exotic hair. Oh my god, ladies, I can't scream. Um, like I just I love this product so much. Like every time I run out, I'll be hitting up Miss Exotic, and I'll be like, um, that's not her name. I'm just calling her by her business name. Um, I'll be like, honey, I need to get this and I need to get that, and she lives so close to me, you know, so I could just pop in any time. But this, ladies, this is gonna solve all of your week's problems. If you get these wax sticks, it's gonna like, oh my god, that flat looking like look that when you know how you guys just you know how we want our, our wigs to just look very flat and natural and not bumpy and all this like this right now this is what you need so i'm gonna leave it down below as well as the um products that i got from luxury glam like the glue the jet, um edge control and all of that i'm gonna leave them down below too so guys check them out like this is gonna save your lives you know check them out and get yourself a hot comb and y'all are gonna see the miracles these products are gonna do to my wig right now i'm not even you know talking shit so i'm just gonna step back a bit you know play some music let you guys watch you know just watch this my foundation in the middle just to naturalize this wig a little bit just to make it look like it's growing from my scalp yes ladies that's all we're doing so we're just gonna apply it in the middle and at the front where the lace is and then um we're just gonna brush the hair straighten the hair and reveal the final look so stay tuned ladies True. you don't wanna go slow for sure Like 
stop Got the key to the lock, we in our own zone Make yourself at home, get to know mine on the inside We can meet at yours next time And you, we're refreshing Lose control, you don't wanna go For boom look at me i killed it <laughs> guys like this look turned out amazing i'm so in love with it look at how vibrant the wig look on my skin it's the color for me it's the length for me it's me for me ladies if you made it this far be sure to click that like share and subscribe button join my family hashtag i look fit mom ladies and to the ladies of luxury glam arana Thank you, ladies, for this amazing wig. And, guys, I told you when we did the first headband wig that the second wig that they sent me was going to be amazing. And they delivered, all right? Look at it. I'm going to make sure to leave all the links down below. Check them out. Support them. Um, follow them on Instagram. You know, let's support our sisters. Like, they're doing amazing. They have some beautiful wigs, ladies. So, yeah. Give this video a like, and I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye. See ya. <laughs>